Hello, today I'll be showing off the Shadow Cloud uh, uh, decal. So if you haven't already, go on the Oka software website and download it. I already did. So if you already, so if you're like me, you have it right here, you just drag and drop it into your scene and then you open up the sample and you should have exactly what I have. I'm going to go into play mode to show you what everything does here. So as you can see, do we have a bit of parameters to work with here, right? Well, first off, we have our cloudiness. So what this does is just, if you can just pick how many shadows you want. So if you want it to be completely black, you can, but at, if you want nice clouds, you can just, if you want just a little bit, you could put a little bit. And if you want to change its orientation, you can as well. I'm going to put back what we had. There you go. And also you have the, the texture of the cloud. So if you want to change it, we have a free presets for you over here. By default, you should have noise nine, but let's say, I don't know, you want noise number three. And yeah, as you can see, they all, they kind of behave differently and look different. So we're just going to mess with a bunch here, right? So you can see this one's a lot more different, right? So you would just pick whatever, whichever one speaks to you the most. That one kind of looks like fire on the floor. That's kind of cool, but uh, it's not what I'm looking for. So I'm, I think I'm just going to go back with what I had in the beginning. Number seven or oh, number nine. Or is it? I think it was number 10. It was five. Oh Lord. Just go back. This one's pretty interesting as well. But I might just change the, the speed of it later. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. And the tiling domain, we can change this as well. Let's see if we change it to like 20. You can see it changes the tiling of it. So you can make it look bigger or smaller depending on what you need. We'll keep it at a thousand. We can even make it even bigger if you want. But at 5k. Well, that's too big. Now we don't see anything. Oh, well, yeah, you see, it's too big. If you just want to have like singular clouds, maybe. But I'm going to keep it at the good medium. And here's the fade in. So if you just want to uh, like fade it out slightly on the edges of the cloud. So if you want like something like a power node, you'd use something like this. The, and this will, you'll notice like, oh, this isn't working. Well, that's because you have to have this in play as well. So then this will work. So if you want just very subtle clouds, instead of this very harsh, dark gray, what's it might be dark brown, but you know what I mean? Or you would choose how much you want. So if you just want to be subtle, you can. For now, we'll just keep it as is. And the dither, I think that works with this as well. Yeah, you can see it. Like it gives, changes this in the center. So if you want to change it, you can. Well, we keep it at 0.5 to give it less of a fuzzy look. You can change the noise type as well. I like it at blue, so I'm gonna keep it there. And this is what I was talking about, the wind speed, right? As you can see, it's going pretty fast for clouds. And if I get, if anyone watches a cloud, you'll you'll notice that clouds are really, really slow. So I would maybe even go with like a 0 0.1. Mm, maybe a bit faster. Maybe. Right, because when I think of clouds, I, I when I look at them, they're just, they seem almost static, but they're not. They're like very, very slow, something very subtle. And yeah, and for the wind direction, you can change where it's going. So if you ever just want to pick where it is going, you just pick. I liked it at where it was before going this way. And like you can also like 
if you wanted to go follow an object, you can do that. You can just put your object and it should be in there. And with that, yeah, I think that's pretty it. So you can just change this, you know, have some fun, you know, mess around a bit, change the orientation. Get something you really like. Because probably by default, you know, you might have it just because you don't have to leave it at its defaults, you know, you can always just change it around, see what you like. Maybe for some reason you want like really fast clouds, like maybe there's a storm and the clouds are going really fast and so you need it. So you maybe you'd have like some debris coming in as well. And this would really sh demonstrate like, oh my God, <laughs> the wind is crazy right now because even the freaking clouds are going nuts. So this would be a good example of that. Yeah. 20 was nuts, I'm curious if you... No, we'll keep it at what we had before. But still, I'm gonna keep my nice, slow clouds. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. I think with that, um, hope you have a great day. And if you have any more questions, just leave a comment in down below or in the Discord. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye.